Hey, it's Mark Podolsky, The Land Geek, with your favorite niche real estate website, www.thelandgeek.com. And on this week's roundtable, we've got almost all the usual suspects. We've got Dude Buddy, the G, Scott Bossman. Scott, how are you? Great, Mark. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. I can't tell you how much I'm loving Nightcap these days. Especially, especially as it's getting cooler at night, having a, you know, just a nice drink of scotch or you know, a good tequila, yeah. watching Nightcap, learning, and just, it's just great. It's been a good yeah. couple of weeks. Are... We've, had, we've had good engagement and good topics, and it's been fun. Yeah, and, you, and, if, and there's a whole new uh, format, which is cool. Yeah. So check out Nightcap, everybody. We've got the technician, Eric Peterson. Eric, how are you? I'm wonderful. Happy to be here. It's good to see you. Good to see you. And um, for those of you that don't know, Eric's got some cool courses on InvestorNinjas.com. Check them out. Uh, speaking of cool courses, wouldn't it be great to watch Tate Litchfield work and look over his, his shoulder? I love it when you call me Big Papa. Tate Litchfield, how are you? I'm good. Yeah, doing well. Happy to be on the show again. Yeah, good to see you. Check out lots. TheLandGeek.com forward slash lots. And of course, the brain, the professor, your flight school Sherpa, Scott Todd, scotttodd.net, landmodo.com. Learn anything about anything, even follow up boss, investorninjas.com. Or, or is it Airtable? Airtable is, is, is in there too. Right, Scott? Complete Facebook marketing system. The complete Facebook marketing system's in there. That's right. How's it going, Mark? Um, it's good. It's really good. I'm very excited to talk about today's topic, which is as, as of this recording next week will be Thanksgiving and it's going to be a weird Thanksgiving this year. So the first topic is, are you getting together with your family this year? Like what is the, 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 the Thanksgiving tradition at the Bossman household? typically and what's going on this year well the last few years we have hosted uh probably 20 25 people and i'll just have to say that right now the plans are still a little bit up in the air (laughs) i'm not really sure what we're doing uh things to consider are you know people who are a little bit older who are maybe at high risk for you know getting this nasty virus. So uh, it's a very good question, Mark. Not really sure what we're doing yet. Um, We would like to get together, obviously. Uh, So we'll see. Stay tuned, I guess. Okay. Okay. Um, Tate, how about you? Yeah, I mean, normally we do a, a big, big shebang at our house, have a lot of people come into town. I mean, who doesn't want to come to Vegas in November? Weather's perfect, you know, get the pool nice and warm, spend our days outside in the sunshine. It's a great place to come normally for Thanksgiving. I, I, I think we're kind of up in the air like Bossman. I think we have my sister, she is planning on coming to town. But as far as extended family, I don't know. I mean, if you, most of the family that would have to fly here is not flying in. If you're within driving distance, they're kind of up in the air. Some of them are in Arizona. Some of them are, you know, Utah, here in Nevada. So I don't really know what's going to happen. I don't, I don't think they really know. Nobody's made up their plans yet. So it'll be sad. Right. It'll be sad. Yeah. It's so weird. It's so, it's so sad this year. But it's so nice to know that 2020 is coming quickly to an end um, with a vaccine, no less. Uh, so we're assuming that a year from now, we will be having a normal Thanksgiving, but I'd love to be a fly on the wall of that Peterson household. Eric, what goes on over there? I think this year we're, we're just going to have a small family Thanksgiving. Um, I do have plans to put the smoker to use and smoke a turkey. Um, I've already... Acquired a uh, locally raised uh, fresh turkey, 
and it is uh, waiting in the freezer to be prepared and smoked in a little over a week. All right. Well, we have our next topic for next week, which is, you know, who's going to help prepare Eric's house after it burns down? Well, that's deep frying, smoking. That's deep frying. That's right. That's such a I'm going to deep fry. Thing. I'm deep yeah, frying yeah. a turkey. For You're deep sure. frying a turkey. Oh, every year. Once you deep fry, I'm excited to hear Eric's sophisticated barbecue opinion of a smoked turkey. Well, Eric goes to no see rib. after smoking, like the smoke gets in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to hear what he has to say about it because that's. Is Eric, is he going to be out back with the chicken rib in his, in his mouth while he's doing all the this turkey work? leg? Yeah. Yeah, the turkey leg. <laughs> er, Eric's going to have like the Fred Flintstone turkey leg out there. Yeah. yeah. The turkey no, ribs. that's going to be Scott walking around Disney with a turkey leg uh, hanging out of his mouth. Eh, could be, could be. So, Scott Todd, what, what do you guys do? Out in, in beautiful. Uh, we are actually uh, going to have a, eh, I mean, a normal Thanksgiving per se. Uh, that's the plan at least. Uh, obviously, I think it depends. Now, look, this isn't the tip of the week segment, but I'm going to put this in a chat. Okay, check out this link I just gave you, okay? And okay. we can use this as the tip of the week, so we don't have to give it now. But I'll, I will talk about it. But see, the thing is, is that, you can use this map, okay, that everybody's gonna want access to now that we've talked about it. You click on this map and basically you put in how many people are gonna come to your Thanksgiving. So let's say you're gonna have uh, 15 people at your Thanksgiving. Then you zoom in on your county where you are. So with 15 people at our get together, there's a 14% chance of getting COVID. Okay, now that's taking a lot of information there. Now that's for me. Now for you, Mark, where you live, it's 18%. Where Eric is, it's 34%. Where, or maybe it was Tate. So one of them was 34% or 38%. So like there are pieces of the state or the country where the risk is higher. So maybe you wanna use this event risk assessment planning tool in order to uh, to determine, like Scott Bossman saying, 75% for you? Oh, it's over, it's over. Thanksgiving's canceled for you. Wow, okay, okay so when I, when I lowered it, because I'm like, I wanna go out to a, a restaurant maybe this weekend and sit outside, I got a 10, I got a 13% risk. And you lowered uh, if there's, it to 10, 10 people? I loaded it to 10 people, I, I guess it'd be more than that. But if it's outside, I don't know. The, for me, it's 8% at 10 people. It's 8%. So Scott, 75%. I mean, yeah. So Scott should cancel. Scott should uh, cancel. That's, that's based on our current, that's based on our normal uh, attendees of 25 people. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 75%. That's insane. Now, if it's down, if we bring it down to 10 people, uh, it's like 25 to 50%. But yeah, I'm thinking the a small nuclear uh, family Thanksgiving is probably in order. Wow. When yeah. I go up to 25 people, it's 29%. And for me, yeah. it's 22%. 40. Huh. So, you know, like it just, I think it all depends on obviously where you are in the country and what, what's happening uh, in that spot of the country. So I think that you just, you know, I think that, honestly, I think that you have to use good judgment, right? You know, like if you're not feeling well, don't go somewhere. Uh, wash your hands. I mean, you, I mean, you do have to think about typical Thanksgiving. Um, uh, I don't want to say processes, but Thanksgiving, you know, the, the way that things flow for Thanksgiving, typically there's like a buffet set up, right? Like, you know, you go and you take, okay, well, you're going to go use a scooper that everybody else is using. That's going to increase. Why not like take some plastic silverware and take your plate and get your stuff with your utensils and then throw them away, throw your plate away, wash your hands and go start all over again. So, you know, I think that you got to just be aware of contamination, cross contamination and, you know, just use some good common sense. I mean, good, I'm not yeah. saying it's going to prevent it, but it helps. Yeah. Good, good judgment for sure. I mean, this year, we know we normally have a uh, family, like morning, afternoon, and then at night we go to a friend's. 
and eat like dessert and and do all that and then you know you know at, at some point make fun of that that uncle that we had to deal with earlier in the day that would you know say the, the inappropriate things at at the thanksgiving table and everybody would kind of roll their eyes like, oh that's just uncle so and so you know kind of thing i'm just kidding uncle so and so we didn't make fun of you we don't what, do what if you don't make fun of anybody does that mean that they're making fun of you it's like if you don't well yeah I, obviously if 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 there's not the like everyone has like that crazy uncle if you don't have one you're it yeah <laughs> or you know the crazy aunt you're if you don't have one you're it so isn't that the way it always is everyone has like a rich uncle everybody has like a crazy uncle or aunt create a rich yeah. aunt kind of thing scott yeah he's he's saying hello he's saying yes scott scott todd do you have, do you have the the create the rich aunt or uncle and the, uh, the we, we won't we won't talk about the, the the money side of it and we better not talk about the craziness either so <laughs> well I, no, I'm, no. I know i'm sure the todd family listens to this podcast yeah you're right they don't yeah exactly so just <laughs> so just rat them out just, no, no, you know, I'm not saying tell us their first and last names. I'm saying, is it in the Todd yeah. family? Yeah, we got, yeah we got, see? Yeah, we can we make that generalization? Sure. Yeah. Okay, so. Eric, can we make the generalization? Uh, see, he's thinking about it. So he no. is it. He is. I guess it's me then. The rich, crazy uncle. Tate? Oh, yeah. You got we one. We got okay. both. You got both, see? There it is. So I thought it'd be in the spirit of Thanksgiving, um, a really phenomenal time now to just talk about the things that we're most grateful for this year because of what we've been able to accomplish in our land business and what that passive income has been able to provide us. So um, Scott Boston, let's just start with you. It's just like we're going around the, the Thanksgiving table, but there's literally no food. You just have a microphone. I wish we could join hands, but yeah. uh, no. So I've been thinking about, I think about this so much, just how I have, I'm really kind of the captain of my, my own ship right now. I'm the captain of my fate, if you will. Uh, so much more now than ever before. I don't have to worry about uh, getting time off from my job. I used to work a lot of holidays. I used to have to work Thanksgiving half the day, the Friday after Thanksgiving. Uh, the fact that uh, I don't have to worry about those problems anymore uh, makes me feel so much at ease and just, uh, you know, realizing the sense that I have this uh, time freedom, this location freedom is absolutely phenomenal. So for me, that's the biggest thing is it it has eliminated so much stress with trying to figure out how we're going to do this, how we're going to do this uh, in, you know, in and amongst the holidays. And uh, I have a big family. I come from a split family. So uh, in a typical year, uh, it's, been, it's been a lot easier to deal with these things. So uh, for me, that's what I'm most thankful for. Uh, and the fact that I have a growing business, it continues to grow over time. Uh, it's becoming more and more solid uh, and is, is providing in ways that I never thought possible. Um, so that's what I'm thankful for. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, Tate Litchfield, how about you? A lot to be thankful for, especially in a, a year that's been very difficult for a majority of the, of the world, not even just our country. And uh, one of the things I'm grateful for is obviously the fact that uh, I've avoided a lot of hard, heartache and a lot of hardship for my family just because of what we've built. And uh, I'm proud of that. And um, you know, at one point I realized like Scott, I was the captain of the ship. And uh, if we were going to be successful, that was, that was on me. And I found a lot of comfort in that. I found a lot of trust in that. And I thought, you know, who better to be responsible for my family than me. And so I'm grateful for that opportunity within the business. Um, and it's, it's proving to be something that uh, is 
very, very scalable and we don't have to be ever limited or content with where we're at unless we're, we are content, you know, we can keep growing and, and that's a cool thing and, and worthwhile. I mean, the other thing that I'm grateful for is we had a, we had a baby this year and uh, despite the chaos, babies stayed healthy, family stayed healthy. Um, and that was a big stressor. It happened, you know, everybody asked me, how old's your son? And it's one pandemic old, right? He was born the day before lockdown and just the difference there you go to the hospital the first day things were kind of on edge you go day two i couldn't even get into the hospital room anymore it was just you know my wife and him and so uh to see that kind of contrast and that difference it really made me grateful to you know make it out of there safe and and, and sound so I'm, I'm grateful for good health and obviously my group of friends here you guys are awesome you've kind of made the uh pandemic more bearable it's been really nice to get on and talk with you guys but not just that the other land uh land geek family members that we have they're awesome we get to do office hours and you know i speak for i know eric on this one we love that we enjoy doing that we enjoy getting to know you guys uh, on a more personal basis and being involved in your businesses and when you win we win it's probably a bigger success uh, I'd rather you sell a property than us sell a property. I mean, it just, it goes that much further for me. So uh, I'm grateful for all of it. Uh, I don't want to hog the whole show, but uh, the list goes on. But uh, yeah, it's been a good year. And Yeah, yeah. It's, it's one of those things that just kind of goes on and on and on. But everything you said is amazing. I, I would definitely drink a shot of gravy to that. Yeah, and, or and everything two. you said. <laughs> or two. Um, the technician. Eric Peterson, how about you? What, uh, what for 2020 are you most grateful for uh, that the business has provided you and your family? Well, I think I can, I can mirror what's, what's already been said. I mean, I'm grateful for, for all of those things as well. But if I were to, to find a couple of different things to talk about, it might be just the, the mere fact of, of finding this business and this niche and being able to, to build it up into something that could support my family is, is pretty amazing. So I'm thankful for that. Um, I'm super thankful for my team that supports me and allows me to have the freedom I wanna have because without them, I would just be working in this business all the time in order to have the success I'm having. So um, all of those behind me that, uh, you know, kind of do the day-to-day -day things in my business are, are the keys to my success, honestly. So um, I'm ex extremely grateful for them. Yeah, that's, that's really well, well said. Um, I think we can all agree that, you know, the teams that we put together um, are, are so critical in the systems and the processes and the software, all of it combined. We're so grateful that we're living in today's, day and age where literally we can tap global talent and a guy like Scott Todd can look at a system process and be like, I can automate that. And there's so much coming down the pike in the vein of that with, you know, process moto that's just, you know, saving everybody time, money and energy. It's, it's so much to be grateful for. Um, the people and the technology, it's, it's the best time ever to be alive. Um, Scott Todd, how about you? What, uh, this year, what are, you, what are you most grateful for for your business in 2020? Uh, honestly, I'm, I'm grateful that I have um, almost like that pandemic resistant business. Okay, you know, like I, I didn't know what to expect when the pandemic was coming and you know, you think like, oh geez, this is the worst case scenario. And then, you know, people start locking down. You're like, well, oh, man, no one's gonna be able to pay their bills. Well, the note portfolio kept going strong and uh you know it, we continue to add to it and then you know i'll, I'll admit over the last couple of years i had gotten kind of gotten shine every syndrome i never really like executed on it but i i looked at things right like i, I spent time to go look at things like multifamily, for example okay like i, I talk about it multifamily. well then you look at multifamily and you're like geez man you know how many people are not paying their rent today or i often thought oh it'd be kind of cool to own a, a retail uh, strip center, uh, not when they're not closed down and they're not paying their rent either. At one point I looked at uh, a couple years ago, I looked at getting a, um, a franchise for a haircutting 
uh, company. And I thought, well, that'd be cool. That's a recession uh, proof business. Everybody needs a haircut until the pandemic comes. It's not pandemic proof, right? So those are shut down. So I look at the entire business and I'm like, man, this is really kind of cool that the business continued to grow in a pandemic. It continued to grow. Additionally, um, I've been able to add very good people to my team um, in this weird time. And, you know, people that are working with me, not only are they great, but essentially they're growing, you know, from a, from a skill set piece, but also they're making more money too, right? Like the, everybody's making more money. So the business is helping not just myself, it's helping other people to have just good years, great years, even in a time where the world is a little nutty. And I'd say last is I am kind of grateful too that my business is able to survive. It doesn't matter if the Donald is the president or the Biden is the president. It doesn't matter which one is there because we don't, I mean, I guess we kind of know. I don't know if we know or not, but look, whoever it is, the business will be okay because people who don't like one guy might want to buy land out in the middle of nowhere. If they don't like the other guy, they might want to buy land too. Who knows? Yeah, I mean, you, everything you guys said, I, I completely agree with. I am so grateful for all of it. And, and Scott, you're right. Like, we probably don't talk about it enough, how, how incredible this business model is in almost any circumstance a pandemic, a recession, um, if the dollar collapses, because we have a real asset, dollar collapses, we do have a, this, a real asset. And we could play this game all day long, you know, what if? And we always talk about this at boot camp, if everything's gonna change, and everything is gonna change, what's not going to change? And what's not gonna change, in my opinion, is people are always gonna want a real asset, like raw land, and they're always gonna want a good deal. And as long as those things continue, we're always gonna have uh, this incredibly uh, vibrant niche to allow us to work when we want, where we want, with whom we want. I mean, every day, um, I'm, I'm, I'm kinda of getting chills just thinking about the fact that um, I don't have to put on a suit and fight traffic and be somewhere at a certain time, five days a week, and the anxiety of like, oh my gosh, if I'm late, I could be fired, and the impact that could have on my family. Um, just the psychic freedom of knowing that I'm in total control of just about everything I can control in life. There's not that much I can control, but those things that I can control, um, it, it's amazing. And then just the fact that to work with you guys every day, is, it's amazing to me. It's amazing. Our community and the collective intelligence and the personalities and um, the tapestry of, of our amazing community, I'm so grateful for. It's every day you learn something new. Somebody leaves a comment, someone found this, someone found that. Such generosity, such giving back. Um, it's, it's just, it's humbling uh, to, to be a witness of and and I'm just so grateful for, for all those things. And um, my son right now is sick. And just to be able to be home with him, not have to take a sick day, is great. I mean, it, I could go on and on and on. I don't want to bore the listeners. But um, it, it's, it's, it, it's an amazing, amazing time uh, to be alive and to be working in this business and solving the two big problems in life the money problems and the time problems, and then be able to enjoy the fruits of that and, and really just live any way we want. It's, it's amazing. So, um, you know, and you guys are a big part of that as well. So thank you. Um, wow, it's, 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 it's like, uh, I don't want, I just want to, you know, say, okay, let's read a ring now. But... We do have to do the podcast format, which is the tip of the week, a website, a resource, a book, maybe a Mike Zeno quote, something actionable for the Art of Passive Income listeners to go 
improve their businesses, improve their lives. Scott Todd, should we do the COVID risk uh, tip? That's a good, it's a good site. Wait, you're on mute. I got, I got, I got a Mike Zano quote and a tip of the week. I got two. All right, here's a Mike Zano quote. All right, let's, let's, okay. Don't get yourself sick with COVID. Use the tip of the week, which is go to the COVID risk map and uh eat a turkey leg for eric peterson go to the COVID risk map map eat a eat a turkey leg for eric peterson no, don't, don't, don't get, get yourself, yourself sick. sick don't, don't get, get yourself sick. sick be wicked smart wash don't your hands smart. put on a mask that's right put on a mask okay eat good but eat outside and use a COVID risk mass uh risk map if it's too risky don't go and if you do go, eat a turkey leg like uh, Eric Peterson style. It's a, lot, it's a lot of good tips right there. Three, three really things is. in a row, man. Yeah, absolutely. Um, if you are listening to this and you have not uh, joined flight school yet, you actually owe it to yourself, your family. You are obligated to learn more about how this passive income machine can be built so you can solve those problems of time and money and be so grateful for the life that you've built. It won't be easy because nothing is easy. Nothing is easy. But if we can do it, you can do it. So learn more. Go to landgeek.com forward slash training and schedule a call with Scott Bossman or Mike Zeno and you know go in to... 2021 and start building that passive income machine and and changing your life so do that um which is my tip of the week and our sponsor is flight school as well you know it'd be great scott todd what's that if the person that took you up that mountain of land investing had done it a few times how many times have you done it now thousands i don't, I don't thousands know. of times i don't know thousands of times years thousands i've done this 20 years the collective intelligence is is crazy long it's crazy long so if you're going to learn from somebody go to somebody who's got some gray hair for crying out loud someone's done some things <laughs> the landgeek.com forward slash training um I'm, I'm laughing because like my, my wife's like, uh, the, my wife and kids, they will pick on me. They'll either say, like, I don't have hair, which I tell them, like, this is hair. They'll say, like, you don't have any hair. Or they'll say, wow, you got a lot of gray hair. And I'm like, you can't have it both ways. People. Okay. Like, I do have gray hair. But, like, come on, man. That's crazy. Oh, you yeah. keep it short. You know? You keep it short, yeah. Every you just keep it day, short. It's just for it's convenience. It's for speed. Yeah. So wait for the Zeno to, to fulfill his boot camp. Uh, yeah, he owes us. He owes I us on that one. You're listening to this. Yeah, Scott Todd, did you, did you happen to see the Halloween episode uh, or, or even a snippet of the, the nightcap? Because he kind of addressed the, he, he addressed the, the shaving of the head during that episode. I must have missed that. I'll send you a screenshot uh, of what his costume was. By, by the way, Scott Boston, Mike, if you're listening to this, Scott is stirring the pot. No. Right not now. Not at all. Stirring the pot. Uh, we're going to get this our, issue to rest. We're going to get our pound of hair. Wait a second. Are you telling me that he's mocking me? No, he's not mocking you. No, Publicly. not at all. Publicly. <laughs> All right, Dirty. send me that screenshot because uh, I got I got I got some actions to take to Zeno. <laughs> so I want to thank Zeno. R.I.P. Zeno. Yeah, he's not even here. I'm so mean. I want to thank the listeners. Um, we're so thankful for all of you, and um, well, I want to wish everyone a happy, very healthy and um, just a wonderful Thanksgiving, even in the midst of a global pandemic. We have so much to be grateful for. And um, you know, just thank you uh, for allowing us to, uh, to bend your ear twice a week with our podcast. So um, 
Thank you so much and happy Thanksgiving. So with that, you guys ready? One, two, three. Let's Let freedom, freedom ring. ring. And eat a smoked turkey. Not bad. Man. Eric, how big is that turkey? Uh, I think it's 17 and a half pounds. I, that sounds big to me. Tate, is that a big turkey? It's a big turkey. And you know it'll be good. I mean, Eric probably had this turkey uh, picked out for the last six months. It has a name, had a birth certificate. He said he got it from an organic grass-fed farm or something like that. You this know it's so Portlandia. Yeah, He's got like a exactly. sheet on it. Its name is Mabel. Yeah, <laughs> date of birth. Yeah. I'm jealous. I don't honestly. know when it was born, but it did come from a local farm. That's cool, man. Staying local, supporting local. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Tate, did you get a new mic? Good. You, you sound good. You sound crisper, clear. Is it me? Uh, no. Same mic. Same I mic. did accidentally bump the settings, so maybe that helped. <laughs> Oh, okay. There you go. I shouldn't say I did. I should say one of my daughter did. She was in here the other day. So everything yeah. was unplugged in on the floor. Yeah, well, look, you know, soak it in, man, because the day is going to come where she's not going to bump into it. Yeah. So be, be grateful. Yep. <laughs> yes indeed <laughs> oh yeah I, I i miss those days of um you know patrolling getting up three getting kids. up three times a night you miss that really well that i don't miss necessarily but when it's gone it's gone you don't you know when it. the last yeah. time is going to be that you have to get up for the kid but there will be a last time I think about this stuff. Could this be my yeah. last Thanksgiving? Could be this last time that I make. You're bringing it down, Mark. Something? You're bringing me down. I know. I'm just saying. I'm not trying to bring you're bringing it down. Bring me like, down right now. You got, you got to be mindful. Of like these these precious moments. Like, don't don't wish it away. Like like this. There will be a last time. Like go in there. And be like, oh yeah, it's three in the morning. I'm so lucky. So ecstatic to be here. So Changing. Lucky your sheets again, yes. you wet the bed again. Yes, yeah. exactly. Because there will be a time that you won't. I'll vox you. I'll vox you every single night. Better yet, I'll call you when I'm up in the middle of the night and help you, you know, revert back to some of those hidden memories. I'm a, I'm a trifle deaf in my left ear. <laughs> Anyways, you guys have a great rest of your day and uh, see everybody later. Teamwork.